Here's a great exercise that we can leverage to create a little bit more tension, control, and intentional, I guess, stability, the internal thigh region that stems or originates from our big toe usage and the ability to create hip extension. In order to achieve this, we will need a resistance vector, a resistance band that's on an anchor such as this, okay? We would use a bench of some sort and we would get into a very similar uh, position of a plank. This is very active. This is a pretty difficult exercise. It's great for translating into when I need to run, cut and change direction and not fry out things like my lower back, my groin, my hamstring, and things like that. So anyways, we would strap this on the interior complex of our knee, just above the set knee. I need to earn a plank position on a bench such as this. And when we say plank, we're looking at more of a bare plank structure, a bare plank posture, okay? So about earning the quality roles of, I guess, alignment where the shoulder blades come in and the pelvis comes underneath us. What makes this very difficult is I have to create adduction so this doesn't flare back to the anchor. Okay, more importantly, this leg is going to stay curled underneath. Keep that composition. Remember when I tuck the pelvis, my toes are in full extension. From here, I'll extend back. Then I'm going to refrain from letting this pull me out. I'm going to keep this in line with my hip joint, more importantly towards my groin. I'm going to sit back in that position and earn that depth or earn that extension. So I'll go all the way down, then all the way up. Working on keeping that alignment piece, really working and stretching the big toe. More importantly, earning that adduction, internal thigh, muscle groupings. Keeping composure of those postural muscles.